It's a little after midnight on Sunday, December 12th, and I'm at the hotel in Kuwait City. Uh, it was a very, very long day. Uh, we left on day one from Dulles Airport about 10.30, and 14 hours later we ran, landed in the dark at the airport here in Kuwait City. Uh, after getting all of our bags uh, delivered to the hotel, we went out for dinner and ate on a ship in Kuwait Harbor. It was a restaurant called Al Boom, which is a replica of the largest Kuwaiti Dow to ever sail here in uh, the area around Kuwait and had a, a good time uh, getting to know each other better, the people on the Codel. And then after that, we stopped at the Marine Club at the U.S. Embassy, which was uh, another big surprise to find two Iowans working there. Uh, the Army-Navy football game was going on and I had a great chance to meet the person who ran the Marine Club, uh, Gunnery Sergeant Stephen Lutz, who's from al Qaeda, Iowa, and his parents farm near al Qaeda near Meterville. I also learned that his grandmother uh, lives in Brooklyn, Iowa, which is where I grew up, so I had a good time getting to know him and also got to meet uh, one of the embassy security attaches, Lauren Siegerstrom, who coincidentally grew up near Steve King's hometown of Kieran in western Iowa. So I uh, had a good time getting to know them and was quite a coincidence to running into two Iowans at the Kuwaiti embassy on um, Saturday night. So tomorrow uh, we do some work here in the area around Kuwait with the MRAP vehicles that are being used in both Iraq and Afghanistan, and then we're off to Baghdad. So uh, it's been a long, long day without much sleep, so that's it for day one.